Hey guys, this is Fish with the Rogue Discs Ninjas. Um, you can find me on my Instagram at Disc Golf Fish. Um, and you can find me on Facebook at Rusty Fisher. Glad to connect with you guys and help you out in any way that I can. Um, today I'm going to be going through my 2022 in the bag. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first of all, my putting putters, Lunas. Um, nothing real else to say there. Uh, they go straight. A little bit of finish at the end. Uh, love these things. So moving on to my throwing putters. Um, I have a baseline Luna um, that I throw. I can get this one to flip up and just go straight. Uh, love that thing. Uh, and then I have two premium throwing putters. I've got a 2020 Tour Series Luna. And then I have a 2021 Tour Series Luna um, that I just love the way these fly off the tee. Um, and this white one, I really can use more as a uh, as an understable mid. Um, as you'll see here in a second, I really don't bag that many mids. Um, so I kind of use these as mids as well. Uh, I keep them with the approach discs. Um, I bag three zones. I like different beat-in, different plastics. Um, the first one I throw is a soft one. You can see how puddle top this guy is. Um, love this disc these these swirly soft zones are money and they really like to be straighter than other zones um so i really like this one for like short tunnel shots if, or get, trying to get out of the woods with a tight gap love this thing um next i have a uv zone uh, from the foundation run this one really is a little bit more understable i like to put this on some anti lines and just let it you know drift and kind of finish and then my most stable zone in my bag is my ESP zone. Um, I really just really like the feel of ESP plastic. You'll see I, I bag a lot of ESP stuff. Um, so love these things. Zones, best approach disc in the game. Fight me if you don't believe me. Um, <laughs> so uh, uh, I only bag three mid ranges. Um, they're all buzzes. Um, so I have first one I have is the super color buzz. It's, this one's almost brand new. I kind of use this as my stable one. Got a little bit of a dome to it, um, but I really like to be able to just really get on this one. This one's a max weight, so it uh, it fights the wind a little better than my other two. Um, then I have a ESP buzz, um, and uh, this one's my most understable buzz. So I like to really get this one on Anheuser and let it drift out. Um, love this disc and then my last one is a Z flex buzz uh, the Z flex one it feels really good in my hands and I can really get on this one and trust that it's not gonna flip over on me um, and this is just my straight disc you can see how flat it is um, I just love throwing this for straight shots but we'll keep going we'll go on to uh, my utility discs um, shout out first of all before I get to all this, shout out to Mike at the warehouse at Rogue Discs. Man, that dude is on it. He always gets these discs out in record time. I mean, the day of most of the time when I put an order in. Um, so just shout out to Mike out there. He's doing good things and we'll get back into the bag here. Um, but my uh, my first utility disc is this Thrasher. Um, understable, understable driver from Discraft. Um, really love to get this on a big turnover line or a flip up line like you'll see in the video here in a second um, and just like to see this thing flip up and just go for days uh, great disc um, my second utility disc is a machete um, overstable uh, driver from Discraft can really trust this thing to just dump um, if I need to get out of the woods get a little forehand roller down whatever I need to do this I can trust this disc to do it uh, and then my last one, of course, is a Raptor. Um, forehand, get out of trouble disc, forehand roller, uh, flex line, whatever I need to do, I can get out of this disc. So I absolutely love it. Um, getting into the driver compartment here on my bag, this is where all the fun stuff comes. Um, first mold I bag is an Avenger SS. Uh, I have two of them. I have a Z Metallic, which is the Tour Series blend from this past year. Then I also have a Crystal of Ender SS. Uh, this one's a little bit more stable. Um, so I really like this for flip up lines to just push straight. Um, and then this one I like to throw on Anheuser lines uh, just to get something that pushes over. Or I can actually throw this one on forehand and Hydra flip it. 
So absolutely love those two. Three great, great discs. Um, and then the second mold that I bag is an Avenger SS. Um, so I have a Big Z Avenger SS that I use for uh, more overstable shots or maybe kind of like a slight like powered down flex line. Um, my most stable Avenger SS is this ESP one. Um, and I just like to use this one just to kind of rip a spike hyzer and get it out there. Um, and then my last one is this four time TI Undertaker. And I like to use this on an anti line or just a straight shot line. Uh, Undertaker is one of my favorite molds. If I could bag eight of them, I would. Um, this is just one of my favorite molds to throw and absolutely love this disc from this craft. Um, my next mold is a Scorch, bag three of them, um, all at different stabilities. I have a ESP one uh, that I like to throw on flip up lines um, or flex lines or even maybe even uh, a, just a straight shot. Um, so really versatile disc, I really like the Scorch. Um, then I have a Crystal Sparkle Scorch, which is the, from the new Ledgestone run. Um, these are a lot more stable than the other two that I have. Um, so I really like these on just flat. Just flat, get it out there. It maybe goes to the right just a little bit, but it'll always finish. Um, really good dependable disc for distance. Um, and then I have my roller disc. I have a really beat in first run Scorch um, that I use for rollers. And I can normally get these out there pretty far. Um, absolutely love that. Um, my next disc I have is a crank. Um, I've had two of them, one really beating crank uh, that I love for hyzer flips. Uh, this this is probably my one of my furthest discs in my bag other than the Scorch. Um, it's kind of a go-to for me on forehand or backhand. Um, and then I have a big Z crank, which I really like uh, for flex lines. Um, can really depend on this to get right and then finish left. Um, absolutely love that disc. This is a new disc for me this year. I was not throwing this this past year. Um, one of my buddies gave me this crank, this beat in one, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. Um, and then I actually got this crank from the Rogue Discs um, just a few weeks ago and absolutely loved it. So, um, yeah. Uh, next disc is a Zeus. Um, anybody that throws this craft um, throws a Zeus. I mean, it, it's basically the destroyer of this craft. Uh, absolutely love. This is my most, most stable one. I throw this one on forehand uh, for forehand spike hyzers. That's what my go to disc is there. Um, my next one is a Big Z Zeus um, from a limited edition run. Um, a little bit a little while back I like to throw this on flex lines backhand for a big distance um, really like this disc I can actually it's starting to get to the point where I could I can flip it up um, just almost there and then I have this pink Zeus that I throw it's really gummy um, I throw this like for flat straight shots kind of low to the ground if I have to go through a low ceiling or fight some wind and keep it low this is the disc that I go to um, then my last mold in my bag is a force. Um, so I have a big Z force um, that I like to just get out and rip on high hyzer. So this is my sp a backhand spike hyzer disc. Um, love that disc. Uh, then I have a five time force um, that I mostly use for forehand, uh, but I've been liking it recently I like to throw it flat on backhand and let it just slowly finish. Uh, really good disc. I love I love a good force and then probably the oldest disc in my bag first disc that I ever bought um, is ESP force um, I love this disc uh, I can get this one now to flip up and ride right just a little bit um, and it's really flat this is my money disc if I'm going to an open field shot and there's not that much wind I'm automatically reaching for this in my bag um, now, and I'll talk about a little bit about my bag as well that I'm going to be using this year. Um, this is the Ridge Roller Customs Ridge bag. Uh, this is the V3, V4 version. This is the newest one. Um, I absolutely love this. I got this thing for Christmas. 
Um, it has a putter pocket, another pocket that you can hold about five to six discs in, then two side pockets that you can hold discs in that also have um, some pockets up here in the top that you can put like your phone or some glow tape or anything like that. Um, and then a driver compartment. Uh, all in all, I can hold 30 discs in this bag. Um, and it's still lighter than my grip bag used to be. Um, so shout out to the Ridge, man. They have made a fantastic bag. It's got water bottle holder back here on the back. You can hold your, you know, your dry pouch or uh, your range finder or anything in these side pockets. Um, and then Atlas Disc Golf Supply, they make these grip pouches um, that I've been putting my dry bag in and I just clip it up here to the top. I've absolutely been loving this thing. It keeps your dry bag dry and just all in all makes a great product. So go check them out. They make these, they ha actually have a bag as well. Um, and then they have some uh, towels and stuff as well on their website. So go check those guys out. Really cool company. They're doing a lot for the sport. Um, and then I also have a Bushnell disc jockey. I got this in a uh, player pack from the Myrtle Beach Open. Shout out to the Myrtle Beach Open. Chad and all those guys down there, they do a heck of a job. Um, but yeah, so this is the bag I'm gonna be carrying for this season. And hopefully I'll see you guys out on the course. If you see me or you see this and you see me out on the course, you know, come up and say hey and, and uh, we'll maybe even play around together. Um, but that's all I got for this thing, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And come back and check out the next video. See you later.